right, welcome back. Have you had the next big talk with your teen? I feel like I'm doing that promo again. <laughs> uh, we're not talking about the birds and the bees, of course. We are talking about finances, and Tom Burquist is here from BECU with why this is so important. I have to tell you, my parents thought they were doing a good job talking about money with me, and it was basically just like, don't get a credit card. So the very first thing I did was get a credit card, of course. Yeah, that's true. I think um, as the stat shows here that a lot of parents don't feel comfortable talking to their kids about money. Yeah. And though our whole program, The Next Big Talk, is really designed to help parents and teenagers talk about money. We think it's just as important as those other conversations. Oh, absolutely. Stuff that you can really use. Like, So what is this? 47%? So, yeah. So this is a stat that uh, came out about a year and a half ago just saying that a lot of Americans are not, don't have an emergency fund to cover a $400 emergency. Wow. And this is a big issue in the United States. Just the financial stability of Americans is not where it should be. And so BCU as a member-owned financial cooperative is really working to help improve and maintain the financial health of our members and consumers more broadly. That's so incredible. So you've kind of broken this down, right? The guide yeah. to the next big talk, uh, spending, saving, borrowing, and planning. You bet. So these are kind of the four building blocks of good financial health. And for each of those activities, or each of those topics, we have activities, conversation starters, and tips for parents to really have a conversation with their kid. And we don't want this to be a lecture, we want it to be a conversation. Oh sure, I love this one though, like think about yeah. it, right? So if you want to spend a lot of money, tell your kids to what, just wait on it, sleep on it maybe? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, saving, I think we've heard this before, but really try to plan your budget, pay yourself first, and hopefully 10% of your allowance or paycheck each time. Have you had like kids say, okay, I'm gonna save 10% of my allowance now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we also, we have a thing also where we want kids to think about if they can save, but also think about charity. You know, spend, oh, share, save type of thing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And then borrowing. What yeah. about that? Well, so these are loans? Or? You know, well, loans, but really talking to your teenager about the importance of credit and managing it wisely, the importance of a credit score, what that means, how it can go up and down, mm -hmm. those types of things, absolutely. And you know, it's interesting because these are really the building blocks for your entire future. So like when I got my first credit card at 19, I'm sure in some way I'm still paying that, yeah. you know, I mean, Absolutely. because it just kind of, uh, you know, snowballs. Well, and that's, I think what, so we have these conversation things, but then we have activities for each of these where you can talk to your teenager about, you know, compare credit card offers so they really understand the rates and things of that, or go on a shopping thing with a $20 budget, go buy dinner. So they have to do comparison shopping, plan nice. ahead, coupons, things like that. So then really they understand. Really makes it real for them. Okay, and the spending journal, I love that too. Yeah, because a lot of people don't realize how much they're spending each week. So just jot down all the things you're spending and you'll say, boy, I could save a little bit more if I were to cut back on X, Y, or Z or type of thing. I know my husband and I had this talk for ourselves yesterday because we did, we ordered out food and I was like, oh. we could have saved that money, you know. But. And I think when you see that over the course of a month yeah. or a year, you realize that's several hundred dollars potentially that could have maybe gone to something else. Absolutely. So people can find you at BECU.org, yep. the next big talk. Absolutely. And how many kids have you reached so far? Do you know? Well, I know this is an extension of our Closing for Good, our annual day of service where we uh, reached out to seven, taught seven thousand students about this and so this is a way for more kids to, and parents to have this and it's for free just go to bc.org download the, the discussion guide and have fun with it oh gosh and one last question what do parents or kids say to you guys because you've been doing this now for a, probably a well, month or I so I think the thing we hear from the teenagers when we're doing these things is just it's expensive being an adult <laughs> and, and really and really having an empathy for their parents say, this is hard yeah. And maybe they're going to be a little more cautious or maybe be more reflective when they ask for their next thing from their parents. I think this is one of the most important things that you can do with your kids in the in the world we live in today. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much, you Tom. Much, I really appreciate really it. Nice talking with you. Thank you. We're going to be right back.